I've got my hiking boots, my canteen, my binoculars, and my lucky hat. This time on Zoo News, we're heading out on an expedition to Tanzania. Be careful, we're being watched. I don't think that rock python's dangerous, but let's move out of its way just to be safe. Hi, I'm Jed Dodds and welcome to Zoo News and our brand new seven acre African expansion, Expedition Tanzania. This is the beautiful home of our five new African elephants. It was a dream that took years to realize. This time, we're not just going on an expedition, we're going back in time. It's March 1st, 2005, and Reed Park Zoo Administrator Susan Basford is addressing the city's mayor and council. Thank you. Um, but we do need to make the commitment, or not, whether we're going to keep elephants in Tucson. Uh, a year later, the city council votes on the proposed elephant expansion. Compliments to everybody that's been involved with this process. And now I'm going to call on the vote. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. Very well, we have a 6-1 uh, vote. Uh, congratulations. After six long years of planning, well, the banner says it all. Expedition Tanzania, the $9.7 million project is funded through the Reed Park Zoological Society, City of Tucson, bond money, and other funds. So we're right here on the edge of the construction right now, and it's a great opportunity to see what's involved with creating an, an environment for elephants that also looks beautiful. The tiniest of details have been in the design plans from the beginning. Even in the mud banks, they're carving holes that represent bee-eater nests that you would find in Africa. And they're hand painting even the bird poop that would be coming out of the bee-eater holes. Although construction will take at least a year, something big has already arrived. Meet Loxodana Africana. This part of the year, we don't have enough of that, so maybe we can add another small piece. Artists Simon Donovan and Ben Olmsted were chosen to create the art component of the project. Are you ready, Simon? Yep. Ultimately, the finish will be rusted. Um, so it will be a, a rust coating. Um, very much like African elephants in, uh, in the wild throw uh, red dust onto their backs and so they, are often, they often look like they're covered with rust. Elephants in the wild would stretch like this to reach high branches. At 18 feet tall, weighing 6,000 pounds, Loxodana africana is truly life-size. And so our expedition continues. Well, this is a really exciting stage of the construction for Expedition Tanzania because finally we can see everything. Everything we've seen on paper for the past many years is finally coming to life. Like these wobble trees, they are buried really deep and have huge rubber tires at their base. So when the elephants push on the tree, it'll wobble, just giving them something to do. Well, at least the elephants can move it. We've also got these cool puzzle feeders along the perimeter of the exhibit. So the elephant keepers can safely put treats in here. And the elephants will come around and use their trunks to search for food. It keeps them active and busy all day long. Another activity the elephants are sure to love is playing in their 98,000 gallon pool. And when they're done swimming and playing in their mud wallow, you might see the elephants right here, taking advantage of this street sweeper brush. Woohoo! And now you know what's hiding behind this termite mound. With the elephants due to arrive from the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in about a month, we need to do what any good parent would do, and that's baby-proof the house. No elephant cask in through here now. How high do you think this rock is right here? <laughs> Down to the ground, eight feet. This head's right here. We called in experts from San Diego Zoo Global to inspect our exhibit. There's a lot of space, you know, we have, um, we have the gates we're looking for. It's, it's baby proofed. Um, you know, one of the areas that, that we're a little concerned about right now is, is the size of the bull elephant that's coming here. He's a very large animal and so we want to make sure that, that the facility is safe for him and safe for the people that, that are going to be working in and around that facility. We'll have to take those caps off too because he'll grab those too. 
when he's here, right, and he pokes his head over the top of that wall like it's not even there, right? That's when you look at him and go, oh my gosh, right? You know, his head's 2,000 pounds alone. His head weighs a ton? Wow, looks like we still need to make some minor improvements. Next up is a special event that offers a sneak peek to the exhibit. Well, today is one of our first opening celebrations for Expedition Tanzania. It's a, a last fundraising event, and guests have been invited to come and explore inside the elephant exhibit before the elephants arrive. Can you guys see yes, I'm dying. The funds collected from this mud wallow party will go towards the finishing touches of the exhibit, like rakes and shovels, which will get plenty of use in here. So we want them every night to be able to come into the barn to make sure we can look at them, make sure that they're not scraping themselves up, getting into any mischief. And like any party, someone is bound to whip out their baby book. And in this case, Vivian has a lot to brag about. Yeah, and we'll be the first zoo in the country to ever receive an established breeding herd. We are a lucky zoo. And let's hope these visitors are lucky enough to stay clean. You're going to take your hand and foot right in this area. I'm going to help you. We're going to lift, do your prints. If you go much further, you'll lose your boot or your balance. And I've done both, so. I'm a grandma that's always ready to do something new and exciting. And that's, this is new and exciting. So you just want real light, light amount. Square down, square down. Step lean and then lift straight up. OK, that's good, that's good. What are the rules? Thank you. The new African elephants will be here in less than a week, but there's still a lot of stuff we need to get done. Got to fill her up. There you go, I'm making my mark. There you go, I'm a permanent part of that exhibit until an elephant gets here. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got company. There he is, Gigantor. Yeah, a boy, you stay right there. Well, 10,800 pounds a bull. Mabu and female Langili are the first of five elephants to arrive. They traveled with their keepers who will stay for a while to help with their transition. Come on, Mabu. Get a boy. All right. You are free to go. Get a boy. What's up, Boo Boo? Look at this place, it's huge. Well, that didn't help. It's okay, Langile, it's all right. They kind of had a good old time until that airplane buzzed real low. <laughs> and so that noise that kind of got to them, and they quickly ran back to safety, which is their barn right now. The second or third time a plane flew over, the elephants didn't even flinch. Instead, they slowly started to investigate their new home. Well, it looks like there's some more poop this time, and even some smaller poop. The inspector has to always check it out. One and a half year old sons who may be little, but he's brave. Mother Samba is lucky to have someone looking out for her. Here he comes. Yeah, we're on this side, remember? Oh, yeah. Glad you can make it. Come right here. Okay, that'll work. What? 
There you go. Much better. Five-year-old brother Punga completes our new herd of African elephants. It appears that Mabu and Samba are happy to see each other. Mabu is easy to pick out because, well, he's massive. The two adult females that are with him are, are both females that um, he um, can breed with, and he has fathered both of the offspring that are here in the exhibit. So both Punga and Sun Tzu are his sons. Initially, we kept the elephants separated to slowly introduce them to their new home. Once we put them all together, it was like they've always been here. Oh my gosh, look at them all together. That is incredible. As they get more comfortable, they're going to realize there's a lot of cool things about this. What's real nice is that the public gets to see them in this beautiful setting. It looks like it's a good, good home, so happy for that. Our elephants are settling in nicely, and that was our cue to share them with the public. Expedition Tanzania was part of Reed Park Zoo's 2001 master plan, and it couldn't have come any sooner for zoo administrator Susan Basford. Would you believe me if I said I had brown hair when we started? <laughs> Maybe not. But we're celebrating partnerships, we're celebrating commitment, we're celebrating dedication, and that's really what it's taken to get to this point. Three, two, one. It was only fitting to have a second ribbon cutting for the hands-on education area. Cut. Cut. Three. And with that, it was time for the public to meet Reed Park Zoo's five new pachyderm residents. When you see them out there, they look fabulous. They look so natural and so comfortable. They move from place to place. There is so much for them to do. They act like elephants in Africa do, and it's such a treat, and it's going to be such a wonderful experience for people. An experience that caused one docent to... Get goosebumps. But just seeing the kids and the adults too excited about it. And this is something new for Tucson, but Tucson created it together. Driving all night from Fresno, California, former Reed Park Zoo animal curator Scott Barton was in on the early stages of development. And it's really amazing to see what the hard work of the staff has done, the community support to actually make this a reality. And it's amazing. It's really one of the best elephant exhibits probably in the, certainly in the country, probably in the world. And just days later, one more minute, you're getting close. The turnout at our members preview has been awesome. Um, our members were lined up well before the opening, uh, clamoring to get in, and that's really exciting to see that they care as much as we do about these animals. They want to get here early to see them. So we've been watching it as it's being built and changed, and we're so excited to see it and meet the new elephant family yeah. as well, see how they're doing. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on through, show me your hands, Dan. Yay! <laughs> I got that one, that one, and then I, I want to see the baby. Look we'll at there. I have a feeling he's where the big crowd is. Mom was right. Little Sun Tzu was quite the crowd favorite. You always wanted to see a baby elephant in person, not just on some Hollywood Broadway show. I saw them that they were eating and, and, I, and, and I saw that they, were just, that they were just having a little fun. Here comes the dad. This is the closest that you are going to get to an African elephant herd without actually going to Africa. I liked how big it was for the fact that they have five elephants. And I also think that they did a very good job on the educational part. A team of people from Experience Design worked to develop sculptural and interactive elements that we could all learn from. So here we have a, a game uh, designed around the idea of how elephants migrate. It's a mama and a baby, and they're trying to get to their journey all the way to here, where, where, the, where they're safer and more protective. Here we have a viewing scope, and this is a really a fantastic 
uh, interactive because when we look inside, we're able to dial right into the elephants and look at their facial expressions and how they interact amongst themselves. Can you see? Look fast because you're very heavy. <laughs> Mabu is easily identified because he is so big, 10,500 pounds, and it says his right ear has a hole at the tip of it. So when you look at him, you can see that's how you notice who he is. And this is pick up tiny objects because as you can see, it's eating leaves and they're herbivores. They don't eat meat and their favorite food is peanuts. My favorite educational piece of Expedition Tanzania, and probably the kids too, has got to be the elephant backside, rear end, bottom. <laughs> You have to um, press hard, really hard on a part of the butt and it makes really loud noises, like thugs. Yeah, it makes a lot of funny sounds. <laughs> and that was really fun. And another one of my favorite parts was seeing the baby elephant. I think this place is awesome. I really want to come back again though. We made it through our grand opening and now we're enjoying the day-to-day -day routine with our new elephants. So good turn. There you go, park it right here. Today we were doing some of their basic training. So each day we run them through a series of um, behaviors. And some of it is to make sure that we can get a good look at their body. Put. Good boy, that is so nice. Good job, Sun Tzu. A lot of the behaviors that we're working on with the elephants are behaviors they were taught in San Diego, but they will only do them with us if we develop a relationship with them first. Good boy. Samba trunk back. Much of our time has been spent just building up the relationship and the rapport with the elephants. Good girl. We also had to train the new keepers we hired to work with the herd. And then next I want you to do a lean in and ask for her ear. And I'm gonna touch her ear. Lean in. Good girl. This one, good girl. Lean in. Good, perfect. Outside, veteran keeper Cassie is working with Langili, who is fondly known as the boy's auntie. Langili, come. Good. Langili, kneel. Kneel. Good girl. And finally, Sue has been working steadily on her relationship with our gentle giant, Mabu. Mabu, lay down. And I hadn't asked him to do that until I was pretty confident that we had a good enough, a strong enough relationship that he would. Good job all the way, all the way. Yay, Mabu, good boy, good boy. And still, I was hoping that it was the day and I asked him and I was absolutely shocked that he did it. I was so thrilled. Good job. Yay, you're so big. And I was so excited and there was so much enthusiasm in my voice that the elephant that Cassie was working with um, right next to me actually laid down for her as well. So I don't know whether she was modeling Mabu or just going with the, the flow. Everyone was laying down that day, so it was a great day. Having these five elephants here has brought an energy that is indescribable. It'll be fun to see what amazing things these elephants do next.
and they're so graceful in the water. The elephants were splashing around in the water. We've never seen that before, so that was a lot of fun and just being so close up to them and just being able to see them like they would be out in the wild, so that was really neat to see that. Well, that wraps up our expedition to Tanzania. If you have any questions about our elephants or any other animals here at the zoo, go to Tucson12.tv, click on Zoo News, and ask them there. I'm Jed Dodds, bringing the zoo to you.